Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back for another Hydro Flask review video. Today we're going to take a look at the medium press in straw lid. Now this straw lid here fits all the 16 ounce tumblers from Hydro Flask and according to the instructions it also fits the 22 ounce tumblers and the 10 ounce rocks. Not sure what a 10 ounce rocks is, but it definitely fits my 16 ounce tumbler that I've got here. Well, let's hope it does anyway. We're going to test that out in a second. Now, much like the straw lid for the Hydro Flask bottles, there's a cutting guide on the back here, which you can probably see. And it tells you how long to cut your straw for each different Hydro Flask product that it fits. So here's the packaging. Here's the back of the packaging for you to have a look at. Now, there's your straw, the actual straw part. This part here is silicon, and this bottom part is BPA-free plastic, and that's the bit that we're going to trim to length to fit my 16-ounce tumbler. So let's get the um, other lid part out. There we go. That's the lid part. It's got some protective plastic here. We'll peel that off. So let's trim this straw up so we can try it out. Now, you get your straw, you put it on your cutting guide, 16 ounce tumbler, right there. Now, what I'm not really sure about, if you look at the cutting guide here, is whether I should be cutting it off where that mark is there, or cutting it off at the top of the um, cardboard. But, we can always cut it shorter, we can't add. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting this onto the cutting guide, like that, as you can see, 16 ounce, and I'll be trimming the top off flush. Now, if it's too long, I can always cut the extra five millimeters off. Now, if I cut it too short to start off with, I can't add five millimeters back on. So here we are. It's probably a millimetre longer than what it's supposed to be, but let's just try it out. Let's see if it works. Okay. We've cut it too long. So after checking that, it seems like that you need to cut it from there to there. So let's redo it. We'll put it back on there. And I'll cut it to the right length this time, hopefully. There you go, we've cut the extra five millimeters off. Hopefully it's not too short now. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Okay, so we've now trimmed that to length. And here's my other 16 ounce tumbler. This is a white one, as compared to the black one. And as you probably know, if you're familiar with Hydro Flask stuff, the 16 ounce tumbler does come with one of these press in sipping lids, which is quite handy. So you can have that lid and use it for hot beverages. So if you might be putting some tea or something hot in there, whereas the press in straw lid is not designed for hot liquids. It actually warns you on the packaging here not to use it for hot liquids. It's made for cold liquids. So you can now press that into your hydro flask tumbler and you've got a straw lid, a straw to drink from. And look, for me personally, I probably wouldn't be using this a lot. It would be really handy if you're outdoors where there's a lot of flies and stuff that will get into your drink. And you might be able to put this on there to protect your drinks from things getting in there. And it will also keep your drink colder for longer I guess because it'll insulate the top it's an insulated lid okay but then again that's also an insulated lid that you can be using that comes with it so this is really just an extra accessory personally I probably just use that I still think the straw lid does have a purpose and a use and different people like different things okay some people might enjoy this more than just using that. Personally for me, I just use that. 
you know, but it's a nice little accessory, an optional extra for your 16 ounce and 22 ounce tumblers. Now, if you want to buy your own tumbler or your own pressing straw lid, down below in the description box, I've linked the original Hydro Flask website. And if you buy from there, it does make sure that you're getting a genuine product and not an imitation. And I'll also link some other Hydro Flask review videos and unboxings that I've done down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, not the Hydro Flask, for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.